everybody welcome back to some tetris 99 look the, i've had to bleed the backlog dry okay so don't be mad for what i'm about to show you don't be too mad at least oh no it's an event whatever maybe the song will slap um we're up to 91 wins okay i i literally the, it would be bad business for me to record more Tetris 99 than is necessary right now because the backlog is disgusting. Um, but we're going to get to 100 and then we're going to try Invictus. We probably won't get to 100 this session, but it'll happen. It'll happen one day. The problem is it's so easy to record seven Tetris 99 episodes, you know, like a week of Tetris 99. You could do it in, you know, three and a half hours and the three and a half hours will fly by. I want to hear the song. Okay, it's a little battle theme redux, I think. I'm going to give my, my honest impression of the uh, theme so far. As of right now, I'm going to give this... Uh, I'm going to give this a pretty strong review. Ah! Why like that? Why would you do it like that? Okay, hold on. Brain's broken. Unlike the Luigi theme... The song slaps a little bit more. No offense to Luigi. I hear Luigi's Mansion is great. I unfortunately saved my money and instead uh, picked up Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. A decision that uh, I will rue for perhaps the rest of my life. Because that game, unfortunately, is just kind of bad. Um, don't shoot the messenger. I played three hours of it. It's more than like any human being on Earth. Except for myself and other game reviewers would be my guess. Um... But, you know, the song's pretty good. It's got some... It, there's a kinetic nature to it. Plus, I'm realizing now that um, because of the fact that this is a Pokemon-based theme, it might benefit me, you know? Not because I have any uh, affinity for Pokemon, but because maybe this will encourage uh, players of a younger age who would probably tend to be a little bit less Tetris-driven. I don't know. Now, keep in mind, before you get upset about that, this is a man who played, you know, hundreds of hours of Pokemon Go this year. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm just saying, if you were to look at the average age of, you know, a Tetris player versus the average age of a Pokemon player, I bet you would find that Tetris players tend to be older. Are you going to deny that? If you're not going to deny that, then don't shoot the freaking messenger, okay? It's just that simple. Also, this is perhaps the only game on planet Earth where I do not fear the Zoomers. In Tetris, I fear the Boomers. I don't fear, oh, uh, hey, my name's uh, Optic Timothy. I was born in the year 2005 and practiced Fortnite 45 hours a day. I fear, you know, Tim's dad. Bert. Switch. Those are the consoles that scare the crap out of me. The Timothys, I'm not saying they couldn't beat me, you know? The, they're, they just don't seem that interested in it right now. They're, they're all playing their, their Fortnites and their, oh, Death Strandings and their etc. and etc. and so on and so forth. Gotta say, um... I haven't played uh, a lot of Tetris over the course of the past week. You know, as mentioned, ad nauseum, Kate and I, you know, we've been moving. There's been a lot of moving-related stuff. Most of it highly annoying, so I'm not going to, you know, burden you with it as well. Um, but I did, I, I on stream yesterday, which will probably be like a week and a half ago now, bare minimum, I booted up Tetris and gave a long spiel about how I expect to be... Uh, not very good, and then won my first game, and everyone went, Hey, nice uh, way to pretend, Grandpa. And I went, I was not pretending, but I appreciate it one way or the other. Maybe it's one of those things where by taking, like, you know, a week off, not really by choice, but by taking, like, a week off, my, my brain had a chance to actually finally rest the Tetris Center, and, um, you know, it, it put some of the structures in the places where they were supposed to go allowed us to get a little bit stronger than yesterday like that Britney Spears song you know I was rep I love Britney Spears of course 
We go way back. We're both media auteurs. Never had the chance to work together, unfortunately, which I know a lot of people have been, uh, they've considered that one of the great injustices of our time. And I can't say I agree or disagree, because uh, I'll be fine. Um, I love that move right there. That's that's a new one for me. I've, I've previously um, not been a, a huge enabler of that move. But you know what? Things change. Hello, Ruka. I don't know if you can hear this cat. He's, he's losing his mind. Hold on. Ruka, hold on, brother. It's getting spiced, okay? I don't expect you to understand, buddy, but it's a little hot right now. They saw a chance to take down a champion. I can't blame him. You know, when you get a chance, you gotta take that chance. But somebody's gonna give here. It might be me. I hope it's not me. But it might be me. If it isn't, the KOs are gonna start flowing because we're gonna get a damage multiplier, the likes of which you've never seen. And we got back to the two tile wide. That feels good. You don't even have to uh, overcome adversity to win in a Tetris 99 game, you know? Some Tetris 99 games you just win without ever facing a struggle, so... I already feel like this one has gone pretty well. You sent me a line. Congratulations. We're about to get on radio silence hours here. How's that? Looked a little dicey. Changed it up. No longer diced. I did not want that. Just for the record. Why did I put it there then? Good one. Just don't make mistakes, forehead. Just uh, betray the exact nature of the human condition, uh, forehead. Go ahead, keep sending them. That one will go down in history as a highly debatable maneuver. Help. Help me. Radio silence? Blue? Blue didn't come in time. That one hurt me. That's an issue, brother. I, I feel bad, but I honestly, like, I don't feel too bad. <laughs> I thought we could have gotten the, the piece over the top there. That's not bad for a first for a first match. Did we kill ourselves? Yeah, a little. But I really thought, like, we would have been able to get the, the long piece into that slot. If we had, I think we had a really good line for victory, honestly. I gotta get my old water bottle back, dude. The CPS here, creatine per second, it's a little low. The aperture on the lip of the bottle, it doesn't get the creatine monohydrate into the system as fast as possible, despite the fact that it's micronized. That was still a pretty good game, though. I can't be too disappointed about that. Any game where you face adversity, triumph is maybe not the right word, but any game where you face adversity and, and come out the other side... You've gained something. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. I, exp I explained it pretty well, so I hope you know what I freaking mean. This is one of those times where you just become... the thing that other people hate to play against. We have become a man who sends garbage for no discernible reason way too early into the game. And uh, honestly, it's coming back to bite us, like, really hard. And I, I wish that I could say that we didn't deserve it. But I can't say that. But at the end of the day, it's really just a, a more elaborate uh, version of pretending you're bad. See, that was the spiced one. 
Once you make it out of the spice... I'm not saying everything's hunky-dory. But it is... More... Hunky and dory... Than ever... Before-y. I can live with this. I kinda hate what I've done here, but you know what? This is... Desperate times call for desperate measures. You think that mankind invented some of its greatest inventions because they had nothing to do? They were just bored? Nah! Absolutely not. Man gets very hungry. Says, hey man, I'm so hungry I consider drinking the thing that comes out of that udder. All of a sudden, milk's invented. Sometimes, you know, desperate times and desperate measures lead to uh, desperate pleasures. Anyone who's not watching the Tetris series is, is grossly missing out. Like, this is where commentary hits its peak. You know, you, you ever watch like a show where someone gets hypnotized? And they start saying like, all this incredible nonsense? That's Tetris. Tetris is just video game hypnosis. It's just modest spice, but dude, I, I, that was a pivotal moment in my growth as a Tetris 99 player. I saw uh, somebody try to attack us when they foolishly were also like badge lord and also running into trouble. What do you think's gonna happen, dude? Okay, that's like to be honest, I deserve this a little. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that, which is highly inadvisable. Um But we're gonna get out of this. Mostly oh that was like so backwards, but we're mostly gonna get out of this because I'm lucky enough to have probably more badges than I deserve after making a play like that. But that's okay. You don't always find in Tetris 99 the best player wins. Much of the time, yes, but sometimes, you know, circumstance conspires to help you out. I'm very appreciative of that in this moment. And you know, it's like uh, Abba said, the winner takes it all. The loser takes the fall. a classic little design pattern there. Okay, put me back on KOs. We got ourselves out of that racket with style and uh, with, with something to show for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't screw it up. You got a nice little flat build here. Yikes. Come on. Somebody's taking some heat there. That was a pretty vicious send, you know? The game's starting to move pretty fast. This is where people decide they do or do not want to be a part of Tetris 99 anymore. Sometimes people, you know, they think they want to win. They see what it takes to win and they decide, you know what, it's not worth it. And there's no shame in that. You know, to do well at something, it requires a sacrifice. Nothing comes for free. This guy's like very badge rich, by the way. He's kind of scaring the crap out of me. There's no shame in recognizing sometimes the juice ain't worth the squeeze. For everybody, in every situation, localized entirely within your apartment. Let's be the person they decide to lose to. I don't know what I did, but I'm very pleased. <laughs> Ooh! Did you see... I'm not even mad? Did you see how we snapped out of that piece? There was... with, with such violence. That was a terrible turn for us, but, oh! We're back, boys.
Radio silence, by the way. Baby sent. That time you might be like, why'd you build? Well, if you must know, I wanted to build a, a better combo send. Sorry, radio silence. Stop talking to me during the radio silence. I got things on the go, okay? Two left. He's, he's doing well. I am not, on the other hand. <sighs> this is a very deserved loss to Trevor. We we played extremely badly in the in the top two. You know what can you say? A third and a second. Nothing to be ashamed of, and there was some good play in there. But we made we just a couple of missed drops in the top two really killed us. Still feels good though. We're in there every single game, fighting. And I'm, to be honest, I wish that was a little panic double drop there. It's the, it's the battle music, dude. It's got me spooked. To be honest, I wish that I could pretend like I was more upset with my performance. I wish sometimes, at least. That I was one of those guys who's like, anything less than first place is a loss. But that's just like, it's not the kind of guy I am, you know? Because I understand, at least to a minor degree, mathematics. <laughs> maybe I don't have the delusion. Oh, I, that was just a misdrop. Uh, maybe I don't have the delusion required. To be a top tier athlete, I'm, I'm too robotic. And I, I'm like, you know, if I ever lost Wimbledon, they'd be like, oh, you're the number one seed, but you lost. How do you feel about that? I'd be like, well, hey, buddy, everybody else is trying hard, too. I mean, I'm pretty good. I've been practicing. But at the same time, you know, I'm only like 20% better than anybody else out here. You think it's so easy? Why don't you win Wimbledon? But you gotta admit, I would give great sports interviews. You don't see sports interviews like that. Most sports, oh, they give 110%. Yeah, I don't know. We played our game, got pucks in deep, and, uh, you know, sometimes she works out, sometimes she doesn't, brother. Got him. Got him. Okay, I'd like to go two tile wide, please. Scoop. Dude, it. I'm like, I don't even know if that is a T-spin. I don't think it's a T-spin. If something feels wrong, then don't even worry about it. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what we're building here. I'm, I'm wasting way too much time trying to set up. There we go. Sorry, did you say wasting time? Could have sworn you thought it was a, a waste of time to set up the most brilliant maneuver in Tetris 99 history. Okay, you should probably send it. Oh, baby. 25 kills incoming right there on the T-spin double. Guaranteed. Anything less than that is, is treasonous. Yeah, that goes there. Okay. Becoming a much more flexible Tetris 99 player has really helped out. I don't mean to toot my own horn too much, but... You know, it used to be like... I was bad. Then I got, like, decent, as long as my pattern was never interrupted. And now I'm like, dude, there's no such thing as a pattern. You know, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. 
Oh, miss drop? Okay, sure. Let's combo that into a second place finish. Miss drop? Okay, let's combo that into a first place finish. See if I care. Every once in a while, just send in some lines just to keep them honest. You know what I mean? Oh, but it ruins your Tetris optics. I don't care if it ruins my Tetris optics. What does that expression even mean? Sounds like something a second-rate YouTuber would make up when they ran out of things to say. People got it. People got that one, I'm sure. People will be like, why are you insulting Dan? I wasn't insulting Dan, I was insulting myself. Okay. I don't know how close to the top we want to be right now. To be honest with you, I would kind of rather um, start to pivot a little bit more towards like a, a two-tile wide combo send. Instead of just exclusively rolling. Um, I mean, this is not really like a baby line strategy. Well, if you want to get two-tile wide, you're going to have to break it down to the bottom here first. Then you get a one-tile wide. Okay, n then next long piece has to eat it. One of these days, I'm just going to psychologically figure out <laughs> what's actually required. But for now, I'm just doing it by feel. This is not a it's not an enormous end. I'm not too concerned, but if we get the opportunity and nothing better presents itself, it might be uh, wise to do something like this. Just get yourself out of a jam. This is a great time to be on attackers, thank you. Yeah, that was dessert. <laughs> that that one that that miss drop cost me more than you could ever know. Dying in Tetris 99, it really comes down to like two things. It's like placement and timing. All I mean by that is if you uh, if you place a piece badly, not a problem. If you place a piece badly and then get attacked by four people who have badge multiplication on their damage, that's a problem. That's a problem for anybody. You know, there's a reason that Dore Me uploaded the 51 kill game. If it was everyday occurrence, he wouldn't upload it. You know what I mean? There's a reason that went viral. Oh, Dore Me dropped a piece and got 51 kills. Yeah, well, Wayne Gretzky has more assists than the next person in the NHL has points. You think you other NHL players aren't trying? Hey, why don't you just why don't you just do what Wayner did? Well, because the goalies now actually like know how to stop. It's not the same. It's just not the same, okay? So I, I got the, the classic little Joy-Con drift issue here. Notice, though, I'm not complaining. That's because Joy-Con drift in Tetris 99 is actually an incredible ally. You could not, in normal circumstances, create a situation where you could cultivate this much aggression organically. Yikes. Yes, what I'm saying is, you thought the darkness was your ally. You merely adopted the Joy-Con drift. Etc, etc. Sure, whatever. More. 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 Don't really want to build on top of the garbage hole if I can avoid it. But, as long as we know it's getting cleared, that's okay, actually. It's not good, it's not ideal, it's not the optimal situation, but it's okay. Hello, Tomo. Any percent let the cat into the room skip? Oh, they've decided to leave. Okay, that's fine. That's also fine. Okay. Most Tetris 99 players are not also juggling the incredible difficulty of being a cat dad while uh, playing the game. I don't blame him. It's a responsibility I chose to take on myself. Little possession on the controller there. Don't send me. We went deep on that one. 
We did, that was maybe a mistake because we burned off so much aggression, but we still got a decent amount. No, 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 not like that. Like this instead. Then like this, then like this, then like this, just to make sure 100% we've covered the garbage hole as many different ways as possible. <laughs> Okay, we want an orange piece, please. That frees us. Now we want a long piece, thank you. Oh. Finally. And we have the two tile wide setup. Okay. All is forgiven. Brief moments of uh, what the heck is he doing, followed by, well, he got lucky, nobody attacked him. I can live with that. Honestly, the, the square piece is our friend now. There are periods we do not like the square piece. In a uh, two tile wide setup, you gotta love it, legally speaking. Now, was that a little greedy on the send? Might have been a little greedy on the send. But it's only greed. Well, I was gonna say it's only greed if it doesn't pay out, but that's like not really true in the literal sense of the definition, but I, I believe in the functional sense of the Tetris 99 definition, that's usually the way we interpret that. Greed is only a bad thing in Tetris 99 when you, when you suffer the consequences. Well, haven't really done ourselves too many favors on this one. Just keep chunking little chunks here and there. Trying to create a uh, situation where, you know, we can find a better place to put these pieces. Now, things are things are in a rush now. This is where we definitely, like, want our next long piece. Ooh, as soon as possible, please, because this is fair to say maybe we got a little bit ambitious. You don't want to be too ambitious. You know, in advance of the top 10. Can cause you some problems. It's a weird one, but just take my word for it. No, we had a combo. That's my bad. Okay. Not quite radio silent. But like, going one tile wide all the way to the tippy top. We're in dynamic strategy mode. Want to bleed off some aggression, see a long piece, thank you, that gets me out of a, a very cursed jam. You gotta go now. Long pieces, maybe even blue pieces. We went through a big drought there, so I'm expecting uh, some long pieces to come to pass, please. Ooh, that's a real issue. That's the kind of move that, that can pose a problem. That can pose an existential threat if things go wrong. Man, what's up with... It's not really that bad, but... What's up with all the two blue pieces in a row over and over? Not, not blue. Um... Two of the Z pieces in a row is what I meant to say. Even as I was doing that, I was like, you don't really want to do that one. Radio silence, by the way. You know, when you're good, you're good. <laughs> I, 
I have no idea what happened in the top 10. I, I have no clue. I think I just... I don't even know if I killed him with badges. I might have just killed him with garbage, but that's win 92. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Eight more to go to 100. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.